Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. In this film we look at some gyrocopter news and a look at a four seat twin engine gyro from Fusion Copter who bought you the Nano I featured on the channel last year. But before we look at this aircraft and as we start flying again post the global lockdowns we still see US Cavalons crashing this time in California and November 232 Papa Golf where the aircraft landed and whilst taxiing the nose gear detached. We don't need the NTSB to suggest that it can only be one of two issues, either harsh treatment or it wasn't very well attached in the first place. November 232 Papa Golf appeared on this channel before with commentary upon its operation and so no surprises as to what I think caused its demise. Elsewhere, we saw a Tursal crash during an emergency landing in Poland. The pilot had only minor injuries after hitting power lines during the attempted landing. In other news, last week I heard that it was starting to become difficult to get some auto gyro parts, with some parts on back order and the machines that they related to being out of action for some time. Separately, and a few days later, someone from the US posted on one of my videos that he'd noticed a large number of auto gyros come onto the used market. Perhaps coincident with all of this, I opened my email last week with all things a spring newsletter from Auto Gyro. Good news from them in that they claim to have the capital required to continue operations and of course their usual good news around large order flow. Indeed they even cite that there's going to be increased stocks of spare parts from May onwards. Beyond the PR interest, there were some other insights into development at Autogyro, which would seem to suggest that the company has no plans to change direction and make more affordable sport aircraft. Instead, the focus seems to be even more complexity and the commercial sector in less developed markets. As example, they highlight development of an autopilot for Cavalon, which they say is particularly useful for long journeys, or commercial operations involving transit, I guess that's all of them, and the installation of high-performance camera systems. Which brings us back to the Fusion Copter FC4 and their four-seat twin-engine gyro, which has an interesting two-blade rotor system, which you'll see at the end of the clip. And whilst these developments are of technical interest, as the commercial issues at Auto Gyro have proved, one wonders if these are solutions to problems that don't really exist. And where gyros really gain traction is in the simple designs that existed in the early years, which fire people's imagination and allow them to get airborne for less. Fly safely.